Hello, Gary Sparasas, and welcome to my third video. A lot of you would have seen me in the first two videos that I did, which was on the Zembeki Golf. Now, a lot of people have asked me about uh, dances for weddings. So, uh, what we decided to do is uh, a sirto, which is one of the most common dances you can do at a Greek wedding. Uh, this is Jack, who's one of the instructors at the uh, dance classes we're doing now in North London. If you are interested in that at all, please go and visit our website, sirdaki.co.uk. I brought Jack in mainly because I broke my foot, unfortunately, a few weeks back. So I need Jack to do the, uh, the moves and I'll count him through it and I'll talk you through it. Saying that, let's get straight into it. Here's the first steps we're going to learn. Okay, so let's have a look at the basic step. First of all, Jack's going to demonstrate it to you. So go ahead, Jack, demonstrate the step. Okay, so let's break that down into its components. First of all, we're going to step forward with the left foot on one. So one, the weight goes over to the right foot, two, then back onto the left foot, three. So now your weight is on your left foot, so it's natural to step back on your right foot, one, and then onto the left foot, two, back onto the right foot, three. So let's do that together a couple of times. Forward on the left, one, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. Okay, let's have a look at that sideways so you can see a bit better what he's doing. So going forward on the left foot to start off with. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. Okay, we're going to do the same step, but this time, instead of moving forward with the left foot, we're going to go forward with the right foot. So stepping on the right foot to start off with. One, two, three three and back on the left foot one two three so let's do that again together a few times one two three back two three one two three back two three let's have a look at it again from the side so you can see a bit better starting on the right foot going forward one two three back two three one two three back two three Okay, we've learned the basic steps there, so let's try that to some music. Okay, starting on the left foot, everybody together, let's go. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's try that again. But this time we're going to start on the right foot, so leading with the right foot going forward. And let's go. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. One, Two, three, back, two, three, one. Okay, let's stop it there. So that's the basic step moving forwards and backwards. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at doing the same step but now going side to side. Watch what Jack does and see if you can follow along. So starting on your left foot, you step across to your right. So one, and then use a two, three to turn and face your left so that you can step back across with your right foot. One, two, three and again one two three and one two three back two three one two three cross two three one two three and once more two three okay we're going to do the same steps from side to side but instead of stepping forward we're now going to step backwards so starting with the left foot step back one and then use a two, three again to face outward so that you can step back again on the right foot. One, two, three, back, two, three. Always remembering to use a two, three to turn outwards this time. Two, three, back, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, back, two, three. Okay, now we've learned all the steps. We've done it forwards, we've done side to side, we've done backward steps. So let's put it all together to some music and see if you can follow Jack as he dances along to it. Let's go together. Ready? And one, two, three, five. Okay, let's change to back steps and backwards. Let's go. And change to going forwards again. One. Okay, 
so cute. so cute. Okay, so that's all the basic steps. The next thing we're going to look at is a turn. It's going to start getting a little bit more complicated. Let's see if you can follow Jack as he does the turns. Okay, so let's have a look at the turns. What we're going to do is we're going to turn to the left. So we're going to step across to the left with the right foot and start turning immediately with the step. So one and use two, three to turn and then across with the left foot. Let's do that one more time. And don't forget, you're using the two, three to continue your turn so that you're facing back towards the right. So let's do that again nice and slowly. One, start turning, two, three, and step across with the left, two, three. Let's do it now with a couple of basics at the beginning just so that you can see how fast it goes. So stepping across to the right, one, two, three, across, two, three, and turn, two, three, and back again. Okay, we're now gonna look at the same turn but we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So stepping across with the left foot on one, start your turn, use a two, three to continue and back across again with the right. So let's do that with a couple of basics to start off with. Stepping across to the left, one, two, three, back, two, three, and turn, two, three, and back, two, three. Okay, so we've learned all the basic steps there. We've also thrown in a turn as well. We're gonna do some more advanced feed waters in a second. Before we move on to that, I want to talk to you a little bit about what feels natural when you're doing the dance. We taught you how to lead forward with your left foot, and we also taught you how to lead forward with your right foot. But the reality is, you're going to find something that feels more natural for you. You don't have to force it left or right. Do what feels good. The backward steps, for example. When I'm dancing a sirto, if I'm going to do a backward step, I might throw one in and then go back to going forwards again. I won't keep forcing myself to go backwards because it feels uncomfortable. And again, with the turns, I'll always turn to the left. I won't turn to the right. So do what feels good for you. The important thing is that you enjoy the dance and don't try to force yourself to do things that feel unnatural. Okay, let's have a look at our more advanced figuras now. So let's have a look at our final figura, which is a little bit more complicated. Now this is done on the spot. And what you do is you come down with your right foot for one on the same spot and then the left foot goes up do a little hop two and come back down to three so let's do that again one two three one two three one two three okay let's put a basic step in it now we're going to start off by moving to the left with the right foot so let's go one two three back two three then on the spot one two three one two three one two three okay let's do it one more time but this time what we're going to do is we're going to finish it with a turn at the end so moving again to the left with the right foot one two three back two three and on the spot one more time and then out with a turn one two three and back two three okay what you can also do is go down after you've done the two three on the spot so let's again have a look at this very slowly we're going to start with the right leg. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and down, two, three. And then back, two, three, to your basic. So let's stick in again a basic step to start off with. One, two, three, two, two, three. And if you would on the spot, down, down and across, two, three, one, two, three. And that's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please practice as much as you can. In the final credits, we're gonna put some uh, recommended songs that you can look up on YouTube so you can practice a little bit. Until next time, take care, bye-bye. Cheers. Σήμερα στεφανώθηκες και θα σε φτύ, και θα σε ευτυχισμένες.